Well, hello good people, I'm Dimitri, coming to you from good old Montreal. Is this the new Glorious? <laughs> I think it's the new Glorious. So this is the new Glorious Model I. Obviously the next mouse is going to be the Model I Wireless or the Model I Minus. And I'm sure the next letter will be N, uh, you know, they're trying to spell something. So Glorious packaging has improved over the years. If we open this up, you can see that the cable is no longer bending below the mouse. And we gotta thank Zai from Rocket Jump Ninja because he brought that to our attention. So here the cable is punched up nicely in the front. Nothing's being bent. My favorite part about any Glorious mouse, obviously, would be the sticker. <laughs> I love these things. We finally have a colored film, so you don't forget to remove it because otherwise the mouse won't glide as well as it should with 100% PTFT feet, you know? By the way, I love getting others' opinions on the glide. The amount of glidiness you get out of it. There's a new word. Glidiness. Slipperiness. Smooth. Very smooth. And also in the box, so this is kind of the key feature for the Model I are magnetic swappable side buttons. So on the Model I, you can swap out this big thumb button at the front and this back button behind the browser buttons and they are magnetic and they're supposed to just kind of pull out, but man, woohoo, got one. Give me, give me. Well done. These things are gonna be the freaking easiest things to lose. No, 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 this, this is not coming off. Okay, this one's a pain in the Wait, some of these have two prongs and some of them have one. Yeah, it goes in. Uh, huh? nope. Other way? No. You have to sort of like put your nail underneath it. Once you get it the first time, it's totally okay, right? Now, price-wise, you're looking at $59. Very standard for Glorious, so quite accessible to many who are looking for an FPS or an ergonomic MMO mouse. So quite comparable to the G502 Hero, the Razer Basilisk V3, for example. So, Glorious, well done on the price. And thank you so much for not skipping today's video sponsor. Silence the fan noise, the coil wind, the pump speed with this. The SATA Q1, a mid-tower with proper sound dampening all over the place and spacious interior for all the massive components. Ooh, the power of silence. Check it out below. And so here's the Model I from Glorious. It's very much a Glorious mouse because of this perforation pattern. The RGB both on the sides and the scroll wheel and on this side as well. And of course we have the Glorious logo with some text. I mean, unmistakably a Glorious mouse. Also because it's 69 grams. My gosh, Glorious loved that number. And comes with both black and white models. And this is targeted towards medium to large hands because of its size. You can see there's a metal screw in there for the magnet to do its job. And the good thing is there's no um, way you can insert this improperly because of the shape. It goes only in one way. As for the back button, I figured out an easy way of holding the button from the top and trying to pull it out like this. Now, once you get accustomed to removing these buttons, what they've done here with the button shapes is actually pretty clever. So for example, if I have a really long thumb or if I never use the button in front of the thumb, I can simply close off that section. And this whole thing becomes very smooth. I don't even feel the difference in the height of this button. So in terms of tooling, they've done a good job and you can do the same thing for the back button. Boom, lots of mobility around the browser buttons for your thumb. The two options for the front thumb button are pretty clever. So here we have a slightly larger protrusion of the button itself and a slightly smaller protrusion. So I actually prefer the slightly smaller protrusion because my thumb fits perfectly right behind it and I don't necessarily need to move much in order to press and activate the switch. If you have a slightly shorter thumb, for example, if it sits slightly back, you can simply replace the button and this would give you a bigger button activation area for the thumb and uh, slightly bigger protrusion. And the same thing applies for the back. So we have a slightly smaller button that goes pretty much on the height of the browser buttons and still very easy to activate. Or we have a button that protrudes almost twice as much, giving you much easier access by clicking it with just you know the bottom of uh, your thumb, like this. So in terms of the closest competitor would be the ROG Chakram shape, although the Chakram is much heavier, but the Razer Basilisk, especially the Basilisk like the central, the entry level, and the ultimate 
very similar in terms of uh, shape and how they feel. Although the Glorious Model I, because it's a $59 mouse, it doesn't feel as premium as other mice. Like it doesn't creak when you hold it and good thing there's nothing rattling, even if you change out the swappable magnetic side buttons. So that's a huge positive. But in terms of materials, uh, it doesn't feel as premium. Partially because it's so light, it's 69 grams, and it's you know fairly large, so it gives you that perception that perhaps it's like way too plasticky or whatever. Functionally, the Model I is pretty straightforward. We have two DPI switches over here that correspond to the LED at the bottom to let you know what DPI level you're on. So nice and convenient. Left and right click, scroll wheel that has nice scroll steps. Very uh, light middle click, which is fantastic. I love using this feature for uh, comms. Uh, and we have the four buttons on the side that is excellent, kind of like a mid-range MMO mouse. You know, we don't have the 12 buttons on the side, but it does give you a little extra functionality if you want to use it. And if not, you know, putting those flat buttons on there to remove those two extra buttons, perhaps for FPS, if you don't need them, is possible. Nice. In terms of fit and finish, the new mouse feels identical and how the surface texture feels, how it looks to the previous matte black models. And we don't get a glossy uh, option with the Model I, which is kind of unfortunate because the glossy part has grown on me because it really secures your grip. So in terms of the comfort level between the Model O, the Model D and the Model I. So the Model O is that safe shape, right? Everyone's kind of accustomed to it. It's fantastic. The Model D is a beautiful ergonomic mouse, also excellent. And the Model I is kind of in between. For example, we have beautiful support for your thumb. We have nice curvature that is very similar to the Model D, but not as deep grooves for your left and right clicks. Uh, not like on the Model D and not like on the Model O. So they're a bit more flat and your, your fingers can kind of slide around. But the right side, for me at least, is very well supported for, by, for both my ring and pinky fingers. Probably the biggest difference, of course, in terms of design would be no more perforations on the left and right clicks. And now we get two DPI switch buttons instead of the single ones on the previous mice. I think Comfort is exactly the type of mouse that I want because I love having the thumb rest on there. On the other hand, I think one of the main issues is going to be finding the right combination of those two replaceable buttons in order to actually get something that suits your playing style. So now when it comes to gaming with this thing, getting comfortable with this shape was no effort at all with a surprisingly quick learning curve for FPS gaming. So the body size is large, but the slight inward curvature at the back makes all the difference. The light body is very well balanced too, especially with that proper thumb support. And you can also use the rear button for support when lifting and resetting the mouse after a flick without activating the button itself. I will say the one little quirk I have with this mouse is that the default profiles for DPI feel slightly faster than normal. So at like the lower 400 DPI profile, I feel like I should be able to move more on the mousepad area to have that desired effect on screen. But I can totally see myself using this as a main for Tarkov and CSGO, just because the bottom of the mouse is very well grounded after a lift and the cord is perfectly fine as they've been for a while. Soft enough and pretty low profile. And by the way, here's how the switches sound. And so that is the Model I, a very impressive, affordable mouse that is going to be disappearing very quickly because of the $59 price point, the 69 gram body, the swappable magnetic buttons, while difficult to remove, is very well done in terms of the shape of those buttons themselves. So yeah, I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. The Model I from Glorious, I think is another hit in the park. I'm excited to see what the end the Model N is going to be like in terms of shape and their approach to doing something innovative. But until then, click responsibly, my friends.